Amster Inc. is the best uh, educational app that I tried in mixed reality and in virtual reality. It's a physics-based puzzle game that blends both creativity with coding, or better say logic, and uh, basically players design and build contraptions to help hamsters transport goods, using everything from simple levers to complex drones. With a mix of puzzle levels in sandbox mode, the game offers challenges in freedom for builders of all skill levels. Its unique blend of construction, programming, and mixed reality also works in virtual reality as well for truly innovative gaming experience, or I should say, educational gaming experience. For example here, this is a simple one, I just need to move the car from point A to point B and I can use uh, logic. This is a simple one, as you progress with the level, it's going to be more complicated and challenging. And basically, one, I, I already constructed the car, I put it there and I need to press 1 after I put the logic and see if it works. Again, I need to solve something here, in this case, just moving from that point to the other point. There are lots of levels, you can see we can unlock them not in a chronological order, so they are different themes, so we don't have to do it just one by one. This is a more complicated one, I needed basically to drive the car from one point, again after I already built it, one point to another, but I need to make a turn. Seems easy, it wasn't. So here I'm just putting the speed for each motor in order to make sure to turn the car in the right time and also put the weight option to do it well. And by the way, I'm playing this on the Quest 3 with color pass-through. By the way, you can get closer and see the cute little hamster. So cuteness in educational apps is always welcome. Now, once you scan the room and it recognizes the tables, it will actually allow you to choose the table that you want to put the content of the experience on. So I have two tables and I just put it here. It wasn't actually a good choice because eventually I wasn't able to press the buttons there because it wasn't aligned well. Uh, so it wasn't a good idea. So Luckily, this uh, app has a virtual bench, this basically allows you to just put a virtual table and play on top of it. Keep in mind, at any point you can just play in VR, it's very comfortable, you can change the height and the distance of the table, you can even play it seated if you like. Now the app itself is very cute, you have actually the, this board that gives you instructions what you should do. Basically you need to follow orders, uh, the game will tell you exactly what you need to do step by step. You watch another model uh, and just follow the steps by using the blocks and connect them together. And because again it's a learning experience, you get some educational content, you can read about the core principle, physics principle for each experiment you are actually doing. By the way, you can also see that the window was actually recognized by the scanning of the room and it was actually using the app to just show you a nice view. Same goes, by the way, to the door as well. Really nice little touch. It just makes the experience more exciting. In this particular one, I needed to, this is very early on, to use uh, the principle of leverage uh, to basically uh, throw a rock into a uh, kind of obstacle that blocks the way. Don't worry, you don't need to read books here, but the core principles uh, of the physics experiment will be explained to you uh, quite easily and simply, as you can see here. So basically you have this board where you can just drag uh, the different objects onto the table. They float a bit. Sometimes, by the way, the floating can be, I mean, the float and stay fixed in a certain area, but it's kind of like uh, you're doing it in space. Sometimes I actually lost one item, I couldn't find it because it's just way above me near the ceiling and I couldn't get it, I need to start from the beginning. But basically you grab the items and put them there, you can always put them back and they will just snap in place. Uh, you can just uh, go and read the instructions and basically explain to you there are two things, the construction and then you do the logic, the programming and then you test it out and adjust the parameters in order to make the experiment work or fail. Again, you can already see step by step what to do. You can see that actually the demo there shows you exactly what to do and then press the arrow to move to the next step and just follow the process step by step. You can even just touch it and rotate it so you can actually see how exactly it looks. And then you just follow with your own model, building it step by step.
yeah i'm just going to speed it up but basically you can see how the construction is done very very intuitive done to perfection seriously except for some issues that i told that things can just float uh, somewhere and can lose them but if you don't really do things move the object too fast it won't actually float too far away but hopefully a bit of adjustment to the physics of the object will be a bit better Now, I just want to pause here. In the past, I actually tried an educational app that I really like called Jigspace. And basically, this app allows you in augmented reality using your phone to see different objects and learn about them in, uh, in augmented reality in the world. It's actually the one. This is, by the way, from close to six years ago and when I tried it. But it's also this app is available also for the Apple uh, Vision Pro. So you probably heard about it if you saw the... Uh, introduction for the product when Apple announced it. They also mentioned Deep Space there. So this is a really great app for learning things. But this is just about observing. And later on, uh, again, this is from a long time ago, uh, Jigspace also introduced a way to create your own new jig so you can create your own educational content and introduce it into the app. And this is a great thing. And this was Jigspace, probably much more improved by now. By the way, this is what you see here is for many years ago, or like five, close to six years ago. So it's still back then. It was amazing and I'm pretty sure by now it's even better. So what I'm trying to say that uh, the future of learning basically is in, in what you see here. Mixed reality and the ability to actually interact and have something more tactile that you can actually use yourself without actually needing to buy anything. You can do things like that and this is amazing. Just imagine something like that. We couldn't do it a few years ago and now it's available for us. We can physically interact with objects. Uh, Again, you can use, by the way, your hands or you can use a controller, it supports both. And the thing is that even if you don't want to learn anything, it's just a fun game because it's challenging. It's kind of a puzzle game. After you construct things, which is fun to do, I really enjoy that. It really designs so well. You can just test your skill and see if things work. If not, adjust parameters and see if it works for you. So in this case, I'm building a trebuchet and I need to take out the boulder. No, it didn't work. And actually the rock fell on the floor, on my real floor. So I needed to adjust things. Basically there is a hamster and ha it has a weight and there is a rock that has a weight and it's basically to throw it and bump the rock. It didn't work. So I'm going, changing the parameters on the board, which are constructed of course myself. And uh, see maybe if I increase the weight here, maybe it will work and I can just uh, change the parameter and then I click run to try it again and we did it it worked moving to the next uh, level you can see the cute little hamsters moving down the road cute now I'm gonna repeat it this is a very high quality app this is rarely seen uh, when it comes to educational apps. This is how good this, this is. Seriously, I was shocked how good it is. Everything implemented in terms of accessibility, comfort, engagement, fun. I don't know about you, but really, I'm shocked. So, by the way, this actually remind me the uh, quality when it comes to building of Unbranded Building Bricks VR, which is an, uh, an app that I tried, kind of a, like Lego-like, uh, which you can uh, construct different characters by just putting things you need to repeat uh, you can see actually what looks on the right and you need to repeat it. it was really engaging and fun designed so well this was back in 2022 and i really uh, i highly praised this app so i really felt like the quality of again this how it snaps and how it's designed very addicting really fun and i'm telling you this game will challenge you educational app game educational game will challenge you for sure i mean the the more you progress the higher you go with the levels, you're going to see things become much more complicated. Uh, all the logic become more complex and long and you need to make sure to activate it right in order to make it work. The thing is that you can easily make adjustments and it's really fun toying around with it. You can go about it to the level board and see all the different themes, different areas. So you can choose, uh, you know, just different courses that you unlocked. If you haven't unlocked them, you need to unlock other ones. Some of them revolve around propulsion, flight, which is also exciting. It's just cars and, you know, moving things on the ground. We really have some really crazy stuff here. And then it becomes way more complicated than you started. So it's really some complex objects and, of course, complex physics. And you need to make sure to do it right. In another one, in a different theme and different level, I need to move a boulder. By the way, this is in virtual reality. 
also looks nice and very comfortable to use in terms of accessibility, really designed well. What can I say that I haven't said really? This is like a triple A quality uh, educational game for uh, VR and mixed reality that I try and request. It's a must play, definitely fun for those who love puzzle, construction, you're gonna love this game. Absolutely fantastic, a must play. Thanks for watching.